This back garden in Coat Hill has an unusual feature. A life-size replica of the iconic Spitfire, built entirely by David out of plywood and fibreglass and using original blueprints. So lots of people ask me why. Um, I've always admired the Spitfire, obviously, and it's kind of started probably just as a, a little project. I thought, well, I'll, I'll build a couple of wingtips and just see how it goes, you know, and just... And then once I built the wingtips, I, I bought a few bits, I bought some rubber tyres. And uh, once you've got a couple of bits, you think, well, I, I'm going to have to do something about it. So it kind of built, it didn't really sort of have one major sort of Damascus Road experience build a Spitfire. It just happened, you know, in a strange way. David's obsession with building his Spitfire took off three years ago. At times, he was spending 20 hours a week perfecting it in immaculate detail. £5,000 later, it now dominates the back garden, leaving his wife longing for liftoff sometime soon. It's got more and more intrusive, really. Um, it kind of started off as just, um, you know, come small objects, but as it's gradually grown, it's, you know, kind of taken over a little bit, really. Yeah, it's, it's been good. It's, it's been a journey. Kind of glad it's coming to an end. And I think being somebody who's always done practical work, he needed some outlet really so um and you know it's killed two birds with one stone not only has it been an outlet but it's also been you know an interest of his aviation so he's he's got to build something he loves and in a moment their daredevil pilots will be streaking away into the blue to give the nazis another trouncing the spitfire is easily one of the most recognizable warplanes to have ever existed it played a critical role in the defeat of germany's luftwaffe during the battle of britain the job done and the enemy on the run, the tough young pilots return like the valiant knights of old. I think the, probably the Spitfire seems to represent for a lot of people this kind of icon of freedom, uh, that, that it sort of conjures up something. Uh, and I think in its form as well, it's kind of a beautiful creation. Uh, I think if you just forget that it's a warplane, but just a shape, just uh, and lots of people are attracted to that, I think it will always kind of be in our psyche somewhere. All that's left to do is attach the wings before finding a permanent home. And then, for David, a well-earned rest before getting the garden back to normal. Lewis Warner, ITV News, Coat Hill.